Hey everyone, it's Ness. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another journal with me. Let's get started. We just got back from San Diego uh, visiting my family and I am pretty weak because it's like a three and a half, maybe sometimes four hour drive. So it can really be super duper exhausting. So I think I'm going to save journaling for tomorrow because we also have a busy day tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually my birthday and um, we're going to Anaheim. I don't know what we're doing. I don't think we're going to Disneyland. Um, but yeah, we're going to Anaheim and uh, that's all I know. Just going to Anaheim. So, um, I think I'm going to journal about today in the car on the way to Anaheim. I journaled about yesterday in the car on the way back home today. Oh yeah, this is how that one looks. I forgot to add watercolor to this page. Um, but yeah. That's okay. I can always add it in later if I feel like it. Um, but usually I just get lazy and I'll end up forgetting because I don't want to wait for the <laughs> paint to dry. So we'll see. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, Yesterday, I was super craving tacos, so we got tacos, and um, I really like this place called TJ Oyster Bar, so we just picked up the food and then we ate at home. Uh, they have really good fish tacos, and one thing that I really love from there is getting... They have these tuna fries that are so yummy. Um, yeah. If you're ever in San Diego, look up to, uh, TJ Oyster Bar and try the fish tacos and the, um, the fish fries. It doesn't sound very, I don't know, it sounds like weird. Um, which I kind of thought it was weird, but I wanted to try them just because another thing that's really good is this, um, Lolita's Mexican restaurant, uh, and they have the best carne asada fries. So that's another one that's really good if you want to try something, um, in San Diego, look up Lolita's. Get some carne asada fries, but that was what made me want to try the fish fries um, was because I know carne asada fries are super delicious. Um, but yeah, we just took the food home and then we watched Hacksaw Ridge since the kid is super into World War II and um, the story is pretty incredible. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it if you like history like the kid and it is based on a true story um and the story is pretty amazing uh okay let's see where are we gonna put this guy it's kind of funny that there's like halloweeny stuff um in the middle or well, not in the middle at the end of June, but I think it's a little bit appropriate because Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. I love Halloween so much, and we were celebrating my birthday with my family um, over in San Diego, so I'll take it. Okay, uh, so this we got the base, right? Now we need a 29. Um, but then today we went to, I really wanted to go to Daiso because I don't have one where I live. It's, there is one that's like in a city nearish. It's like 40 minutes away. Um, 
but in San Diego they have multiple Daisos. So we went to Daiso and I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff which I will uh, show you in a video once I get a chance to make it. I don't want to do this one because I love the rain. Um, but yeah. Daiso is just always fun to watch and I'm excited to uh, show everything that was purchased because I love Daiso. Uh, yeah, let's just go with this one. It seems thematically appropriate. All of my favorite things plus a lime and a lemon and an oxalotl. We got a little bear. Actually, I've never been camping before. Um, and I don't really like the woods, but it's okay. We can dismiss that. Um, okay, let's get some... Oh, actually... No, not that one. This one. Grab this one. Um, we can grab some of these guys. We were looking up, I've never been on a cruise, but I always thought that going on a cruise would be very cool and interesting. So I kind of want to use this because we were talking about it, um, going on a cruise. And uh, her sister is kind of, like she, she doesn't like the idea of going on a cruise. But I think we might sway her with going on an Alaskan cruise because that just looks so incredibly beautiful and amazing. And I, I think it would be cool, super cool. So we were looking up like what the Alaskan cruises entail and all that jazz. Nothing set in stone or anything, but it was just kind of cool to be able to check it out, as it were. Uh, let's use this unicorn one, I think. Let me see. I really don't have a lot of... Where are all my black and white washies? Okay, they're at that back. I don't think I want to use any of those though. I want to use the unicorns and I kind of want to use this one again. I know I used it the other day, but it's it's really gorgeous washi. Um, but I'm going to cut it where, see how it like repeats and it has this little like black line? I don't want that black line in it. So I'm going to cut it. And we want it to go over. I think I do. So let's put some... Nope. Because it's so dark, I feel like I have to get it. So it touches. I don't want, like, that white gap in between. Um, I still don't know where my... gift card is. I feel like I just saw it though, so uh, let's just cut it. Cut and then we tape. So yeah, we went to Daiso and I had a lot of fun. We spent a lot of time there uh, before we knew it, we realized what time it was because we had reservations to go to an Italian restaurant that I really like in San Diego. It's called Devanti and it's super yummy. We just order a ton of stuff and just eat it family style, which is the best. Um, but my absolute favorite thing to get there is the focaccia bread. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. Um, I think I could just gorge myself in eating focaccia bread because they serve it with honeycomb and it's just so delicious. Yeah. 
highly recommend Devante and TJ Oyster Bar and Lolita's and uh yeah. Ooh, frutas, that place is really good if you want some tortas. Uh but yeah, lots of super yummy, delicious food. Um so yeah, it was a good time. It was a really, really good time. Okay, I think that's all the washi that I want. So let's just grab some stickers to put all over the place because I'm trying to make this a wee bit quick because I'm ready for bed. Um, all the way to the end. Okay, I think... Hmm. Oh, we'll do the hungry one because we ate a lot. We ate a lot of food. Uh, so we'll do hungry. Let's put him here. And I kind of want to put one of these guys. Ice cream, ramen, charcuterie, burgers. Let's do this one my mom got me an ice cream cake which i love ice cream cake so much um and it was mint and chip ice cream cake mm, let's see let's put her here and then we'll see these guys but let's do let's do these pile of pugs because it was like all of us together hanging out. And we can put them here and let's do this big big doggy. I don't know what kind of dog this is. We'll put him over. Look, he's jumping over. Have a good time. Ooh, I want to put one of these stamps. I like this one. Let's do this one here. Uh, none of the hippos, none of the monkeys, none of the tigers. They just don't really feel the vibe of what's on the spread. I will put... Hmm, these kitties. Here. And... I kind of want to put this as well. I was planning on painting while I was over there, like some of the food, but uh, that didn't happen. I took like my watercolors and I took like my sketchbook and stuff, but that's okay. Got a little bit too busy doing other stuff, so it's crazy how quickly time goes um, when we're all together. I legit lose track of time when I hang out with my family in a good way, of course. Um, it just means that we're having a really good time together. Um, let's do... Hmm... We'll skip these guys. Okay, let's put this this final inky kitty cat sticker somewhere so he can finally be used. Uh, I'm up here. I'm just gonna try and look for like any like, darker stickers since there's a lot of um, darker colors. 
Oh, that's pretty. You know what? Let's move this. I know I just put it down. But I kind of want to put this pretty unicorn here instead. Overlap it a little bit. Maybe we can put the inky cat on top of here. And I also think I want something to go across. What cats? Oh yeah, I thought I got these from Paper Treat Shop, but I got these from Daiso. And I got something that is similar that made me realize when we went to Daiso that so I didn't want to like um, lead anyone astray if they wanted to get those little kitty cat face stickers. They're from Daiso. Let's see, let's see. This one? Or is it too big? That's okay. It can be a little bit too big. That's perfectly fine. Mm. A little paw is kind of cute, but I don't know where I could put that. Yeah, I'm excited to show you guys all of the new stuff that we got. Oh my gosh, I hear Leo. He's outside of the room, and he gets very needy when we leave to San Diego. That's okay, because I love snuggling that little monster. He's the best. Well, they're all the best, but he's a really good snuggler. Well, let's put these kitties here, popping out from the stamp. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, and I think I kind of want to put this uh, here because we did have cake today in celebration. Um, And that might be it for these guys. I don't know what else I could add. I don't have any taco stickers. Oh no, pasta stickers. I don't have any pasta stickers or, hmm. Milk and draw. I don't want to put any of those. None of these guys. He's kind of cute. Well, I think honestly, this is probably pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. And let's add in some. Gray? I think last time I did um, like gray, like dark gray hearts. So maybe this time I'll just do little circles instead. I like to mix up um, blue with this brown to get a really pretty gray. And then that way this is prepared for tomorrow so I can journal in it because I'm not going to journal in it today just because I am so, 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 so ready to go to sleep. I just want to knock out. Um, oh man, that would have been so cute. I should have done like um like a drawing. Maybe I can still do that. Maybe doing like a cat it would be easy you know circle face and then 
some ears. It won't be detailed, but you kind of get the idea that the little oxalotl is painting a cat. Cute. And that one will be the only one that's different shape. Everything else will be just circles. But I kind of like that idea. Maybe I should do that next time with just doing like little blobs and then um, kind of letting my imagination decide what it's going to turn into and maybe just do that for like one of the blobs on the page. It's like a little um, seek and find type of thing. All right, so I'm going to end it on this. I'll show you in uh, the next video how this looks like when it's all filled in. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate my journal and my Hobonichi. If you like these kinds of videos and you'd like to see more, subscribe. I hope you have a really great day and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye!